the long-standing relationship between Riyadh and Washington, spanning over 80 years, has traditionally been characterized as an exchange of oil for security. The United States maintains military installations in Saudi Arabia, supplying advanced weaponry and engaging in joint operations and training with the Saudi military. In recent years, however, strains have emerged in the U.S.-Saudi relationship. The Biden administration has sought to address human rights abuses in the kingdom and influence its oil production volumes, but these efforts have faced challenges. Concurrently, China has steadily strengthened its ties with Saudi Arabia, particularly in economic aspects, becoming the kingdom's primary trading partner and the largest purchaser of its oil. Apart from the oil deal, Saudi Arabia has increasingly turned to China for weapons procurement, especially those that the U.S. has been hesitant to provide, such as lethal drones. This shift is part of Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's efforts to diversify alliances and enhance the kingdom's independence, encompassing technology transfers and Chinese-backed infrastructure projects. In this video, we'll discuss Saudi Arabia's thriving ties with China amid escalating tensions with the United States. But first, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Now let's delve into Saudi Arabia's relationships with both China and the U.S. In a diplomatic clash late last year, tensions flared between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia when the Saudis, in collaboration with Russia, announced a cut in oil production. Despite the Biden administration's belief in a secret agreement to boost production for domestic priorities, including curbing inflation, Saudi Arabia insisted the decision was economically motivated. The move, amidst oil prices at around $85 a barrel, exacerbated tensions ahead of the U.S. midterm elections. The Biden administration, fearing the impact on consumers and its electoral prospects, considered retaliatory measures, including potential legal action against OPEC and Saudi Arabia. Threats included charging OPEC members before the World Trade Organization and applying U.S. antitrust laws. Despite these warnings, Saudi Arabia remained unfazed, signaling a shift away from U.S. influence. Recent visits by both President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping to Saudi Arabia highlighted a warmer reception for China, underscoring Saudi Arabia's evolving geopolitical alliances. This transformation suggests that the U.S. now has less sway over Saudi oil policies compared to previous decades. Take a look at the stark contrast between Saudi Arabia's grand reception for China and the notably subdued welcome extended to the United States. It was a tale of two visits for Xi Jinping and Joe Biden when it comes to Saudi Arabia, five months apart. The kingdom offered a lavish welcome for the Chinese president who arrived in the capital Riyadh for a three-day visit. It was in contrast with the low-key reception for the US president in July. Saudi Arabia rolled out a purple carpet for Mr. G. Fighter jets from the Royal Saudi Air Force put on a spectacular air show and cannon were fired. The Chinese leader was greeted by the governor of the Riyadh region and Saudi Arabia's foreign minister. When Mr. Biden landed in Jeddah a few months ago, he was greeted by governor of Makkah also on a purple carpet. He shared a friendly fist bump with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, images of which were shared across the internet. On the other hand, Prince Mohammed and Mr. G shook hands as they met at the royal court in Riyadh. The Chinese leader was given a guard of honor before Prince Mohammed led him to meet King Salman. Both leaders were in Saudi Arabia to have wider regional meetings. Mr. Biden told leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Council as well as Iraq, Egypt and Jordan that the U.S. was committed to the region. We will not walk away and leave a vacuum to be filled by China, Russia or Iran. The country signed several agreements covering sectors including energy, aerospace, defense, textiles, manufacturing, education and tourism. China said the visit marked its biggest diplomatic initiative in the Arab world. 
The two countries will sign deals worth more than 29.3 billion US dollars, according to Saudi state media. The meeting comes as Saudi ties with Washington are strained by the US criticism of Saudi support for oil production cuts. The White House has commented on Mr. G's visit, saying that China is attempting to grow its influence around the world, but this would not change the US policy towards the Middle East. The Saudi interest in enhancing ties with China may seem like a strategic move, possibly aimed at signaling the United States to prioritize Saudi concerns. The personal relationship between Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and US President Joe Biden is notably strained, with the Crown Prince expressing indifference to Biden's opinion of him. In turn, Biden, known for his forthrightness with Saudi Arabia, has not held back his reservations about the Saudi leader. However, China holds intrinsic value for Saudi Arabia beyond being a diplomatic tool against the United States. China has become Saudi Arabia's largest trading partner, surpassing bilateral trade with the U.S. Chinese companies, play a significant role in the kingdom, involved in major projects, establishing 5G infrastructure, and contributing to the development of military drone capabilities. The deepening relationship between Saudi Arabia and China holds increasing significance for both nations as they pursue their respective goals. Saudi Arabia with its Vision 2030 and China with the Belt and Road Initiative. The ambitious economic diversification agenda launched by Saudi Arabia in 2016 aligns with the Belt and Road Initiative, fostering potential collaboration in the years ahead. Saudi Arabia aims to generate $46 billion annually in tourism revenue by the end of the decade, positioning tourism and entertainment as its second national industry after oil. The influx of Chinese tourists is seen as a key driver for growth, presenting a substantial market for Saudi Arabia. China recognizes the critical importance of Vision 2030's success for its own interests in the Middle East. The kingdom's economic diversification is viewed as crucial for regional stability, and failure to achieve it could pose risks to the Belt and Road Initiative and China's global trade ambitions, particularly in the Arabian Peninsula. Chinese tourists not only contribute to the local market and job creation in Saudi Arabia, but also strengthen supply chains between China and the Gulf, bolstering the regional aviation industry. Beyond economic benefits, Chinese tourists play a vital role in the cultural exchange component of the comprehensive strategic partnership between the two nations. In a recent initiative, Saudi Arabia hosted a week-long souk festival on the Shanghai Bund waterfront, showcasing its culture, heritage, and natural specialties. The country has already welcomed over 100,000 Chinese travelers, projecting a growth of over 50% by the end of 2023 compared to 2019. With an ambitious target to attract 5 million Chinese travelers by 2030, Saudi Arabia aims to become the premier long-haul destination for China. Year to date, we have uh, welcomed more than 100,000 Chinese travelers to Saudi. And we expect by end of this year, 2023, to uh, grow more than 50% versus 2019. And by 2030, our aim and ambition is to attract 5 million Chinese travelers, which will make Saudi the number one destination for long haul for China. And I think the most interesting part is the performance that, you know, combine both the Chinese part and the Saudi part and also the light show. I'm um, originally from Shanghai and this is the first time I see that the entire bond was enlightened by the Saudi color. It's wonderful.
I think it's so interesting. It also can show like part of atmosphere of country and you feel comfortable. Here also have like some small corner, but I think if you go like a uh, country, there is like a huge area. Yes, you can explore. I've never been to Middle East before, and then I'm, I'm here right now, it's, it's like a new world for me. So, and also, we know a lot of stories about um, 1009, right? We're really looking forward to it, if, if I have a chance. We're both revolved around family, friends, traditions, we're both traditional countries. In addition, China played a pivotal role in facilitating the normalization of historically strained relations between Saudi Arabia and Iran. This breakthrough deal, following years of attempted reconciliations, underscores Chinese President Xi Jinping's evolving strategic outlook. China's involvement signals a shift beyond trade-centric relations toward a focus on long-term strategic interests in the Middle East. Furthermore, Saudi Arabia, in tandem with the United Arab Emirates, is set to officially join the BRICS coalition starting in 2024. This move accentuates Saudi Arabia's ambitious global aspirations and marks a departure from its long-standing alliance with the United States. As two influential Arab states chart independent paths, concerns about the U.S. commitment to regional security have fueled this shift. From a trade perspective, the People's Bank of China and the Saudi Central Bank have inked a significant local currency swap agreement valued at 50 billion yuan or 6.98 billion dollars. This groundbreaking agreement not only promotes the use of the yuan in the Middle East, but also represents a strategic opportunity to enhance the global standing of the Chinese currency. While challenging the dominance of the US dollar remains a long-term goal, this move signifies a fresh push by Beijing in that direction. So what are your predictions for the future of China-Saudi relations and how might the United States respond? Share your thoughts and comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to show your support. Make sure to subscribe for more intriguing content like this in the future.